right, we're at Stool Hub. Karthik's here. We're going to do a podcast. <laughs> Believe it or not. Before we start, we need to turn this into a podcast studio, which is probably overselling it. We're going to make this work? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's not like we're big guys anyway. Pretty much set up. It almost looks like we know what we're doing, maybe. Don't know. But uh, this is going to be interesting. We've kind of gone into this, for lack of a better... What was it? Three Just, messages? Should we start one? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hit Karthik up about doing a Turf and Tools podcast just because get a lot of access to equipment and that. Neither of us think we're uh, that unique or have an amazing viewpoint that needs to be heard, but um, I don't know. We, we're always talking about this gear anyway, so I figure we might as well record it and uh, put it out there as a podcast. So we're just about to get going. This is the setup. We're at Store Hub. This is, where, this is gonna be the home of the podcast, my storage shed. We've got some equipment that looks cool. I don't know how to use it. How are you feeling, Carthy? You're looking a little nervous. Oh, no, I think I'm actually okay because I don't know no one's watching. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, mm, mm, welcome. Mm. Podcast done. Yeah, how bad was it? No, I... Uh, I Maybe we just talked too much. That was, um, yeah. I think we rambled on for a bit, but yeah. we really didn't do any planning or anything like that for it. So to get a 55-minute podcast out, and we thought we were going to be 20 or 30 minutes, and we probably did ramble a bit. Yeah. But uh, Look, if you obviously stick to a script and stick to a topic, yeah. it'll go 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah. But if you actually relax and have a chat... Yeah. Bound to go over, so I found that, that more good. interesting to do than having a full plan and we're going to do this and that. Like it yeah. was, we'll work it out as we go anyway. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, Turf and Tools podcast. It's uh, it's everywhere. That's uh, it's Carthy. Hey. All right, so I'll give you a quick backyard update in a minute. Looks like it's going to absolutely start pouring again. Hello, Maggie. Um, I want to knock the backyard over before it starts raining. It's already spinning now, actually. Picked this up the other day. The Massport roller. roller. Picked this up the other day, the Massport Rotor Roller. Uh, we're going to try and stripe this up, see how it comes up. You can see some stripes there from when I did it a couple of days ago. Uh, i got to hurry, beat the weather. Come here, come here, come here. People want to see you. People want to see you. No? Maggie doesn't want to be on camera. So there we go, we have some stripes on this Kaikuyu, simply with the rotary rotor roller. Now this lawn is recovering, there's still many, many bare patches. Um, we had some fungal issues. I think the fungal stuff's back, to be honest with you. If you have a close look there, it doesn't look very nice. Look at that leaf, look at that leaf. If you've been following for a little while, you'll know that this yard just does not drain well, which is good in that I never need to water it but then when we do have days and days of rain um, yeah we can have fungal issues I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do next but we want to get on top of it because I want to get this looking good again it's a challenge it's definitely always going to be a challenge out here the front looks a lot nicer I'll show you that in a second um, I like the stripes what do you think stripes yay or nay also, do you like my balls? They've started getting that into a ball shape. Again, not perfect yet. It was a bit of a dome shape, so it's gonna take a little bit of trimming. Same here. A Couple of balls going here. Over time, we're gonna get them looking nice and balled up. Okay, so this is the Massport Rotor Roller. It's a self-propelled, meaning you don't have to push it. It drives itself once you pull this bale. Um, roller mower. So it's got normal front wheels. At the back, it has a rear roller, which is what allows it to lay down these nice stripes, which isn't revolutionary or anything. You normally see it on a cylinder mower, 
that this is a great option if you don't quite have you know an exactly flat lawn or you want to cut it a little bit higher and still get that nice stripe look there's three different models of these this is the 18 inch there's also a 21 inch version um, this is the cheapest of the lot at uh, $1,300, $1,299. There's another 18 inch for $1,429. I can't exactly tell what the difference is besides this one has four blades. The more expensive has uh, two blades. So I don't know what the go is there. Well, Hyder cuts the other difference I can see here. This goes down as low as 12 mil up to 48 mil. The 1429 version goes 15 to 55 mil. I can't see why it's more expensive anyway. The 21 inch looks like it's got a bar blade, single blade, uh, and that's $1,700. So it's got the height adjuster on this side of the mower, which I'm not used to, used to having it on the other side. So that's something a little bit different there. I haven't worked out what self-propel system it is. Is it a belt drive or, can I see behind here? Oh no, there's a chain there. So I have tried this in a couple of places. I found that it works well in situations like this where you can just go straight up and down passes uh, longer passes, if you're in tight little square areas, it's probably going to annoy you a bit. So I'd, I'd more be using it for these sort of scenarios. Now the rear rollers can make a lot of noise and potentially damage your hard surfaces over time. Like, like you're rolling, I can see little flecks where it's scratching the paint off here. But the good thing about this is it's got normal front wheels. So you can just sort of wheel it like that. It's not exactly light. Uh, which is to be expected. I mean, it's got a rear drum on the back there. It's self-propelled, but um, yeah, I don't find it too hard to transport like that. So I guess because of the self-propel system, that the chain drive there at the side, it allows it to have a pretty full chute, much larger than a lot of machines. That's what we took off there. I'm mowing this lawn at the moment pretty much every couple of days just because um, it grows super, super quick. It's got a Briggs 163cc, which was easy enough to start up. Oh, I love that dog. Love that dog. I assume it can just do rear discharge like that because of the way the uh, rear flaps set back. That's an assumption I'm making. But yeah, I'd probably want to be bagging it just to make it look nice and tidy. So I think this would be great for people with lawns like this, Kaikuyu or Buffalo. The fine leaf stuff, personally, I'd leave to the cylinder mowers. I just think you get a nicer cut. But if you are rotary mowing and you want to get into striping, uh, this is pretty much the, the cheapest entry in that market segment. There's other options out there which are more expensive. But for the short time I've been using it, I've been pretty impressed with it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm.